morning. It's July 5th. <laughs> There's July's kitties. I would have to get myself a kitten calendar this year, which I've never done before. But uh, to remind me of my sad kitty situation. But anyways, it's quarter after 10. And my house is a mess. <laughs> my daughter was here for the weekend. We had a wonderful time. Kids, she came Friday, took them back to the go on Monday. And uh, we just had a lot of fun doing a bunch of different things. But I woke up the other night after, I guess it was Monday night, well, be Tuesday morning, not feeling well. I was quite ill yesterday, just took a COVID test. It's negative, thank goodness. But uh, I could do little to nothing yesterday. Didn't do my, you know, didn't clean my table off last night or anything. But that's fine. Um, now I'm moving like a slug. It's kind of dark in here. I'm just holed up trying to feel better. But I am feeling slightly better. So one thing we did was painted some rocks. I have a little rock bed going underneath my downspouts. And so we picked some rocks from there and got a little paint kit. Oh my goodness. From the dollar store. I can hardly bend over. My body is so sore. So that and we had fun doing that and we we went on a couple hikes. We um I had coupons for Wendy's, fork and dine for $21.99. And then they decided to stay the extra day, so I had to whip a supper together that you know, just stuff out of the freezer and managed to make a lovely stir fry and whatnot. But anyways, I am feeling better. <laughs> I'm upright. My temperature has gone down. It went up to 38 last night, and I was quite worried. I was going to take the COVID test yesterday, but I couldn't even manage that. So, but I'm up. I'm moving. Uh, I'm relieved it's not COVID. Temperature's going down. I've been drinking. I'm not going to say lots of water, but making sure. Because I just find, I find when I'm not feeling well, water tastes funny. <laughs> tastes like steel. But I've... Stripped the beds Monday after they left. Got that into the wash. But I gotta make them. So I'm, like I said, still not feeling well. But I need to get this house kind of put back into order. Just still kids stuff hanging out and, you know, haven't even, well that blanket's folded. My daughter probably folded that and put it there, but that's not quite how I fold it. So anyways, am I gonna set the clock for an hour? I am. I'm going to set the clock for one hour and I'm going to slowly walk through this house and just put things away and try to get those beds made and the living room put back to order and that's probably all I got in me for a little while anyways. So let's see where I am in an hour. Okay, that was perfect timing. <laughs> Cause I don't got another lick of energy in me. <laughs> so what I did was moved very, very, very slow. I took pop downstairs. When I was downstairs, I brought the sheets up that were in the dryer. I got this barathane because I'm going to barathane those rocks. I did the dishes, tidied up the table. Check my temperature. It's uh, what was it last time? Oh, let's see. Where are we at? It'll show what it was last time. 36.7. It should be 36.2. So that's pretty good. I mean, I was up in the red last night. Cleaned up the living room, opened up the curtains, let some light in. It's cool enough in here right now. I don't have my air conditioner on. It's sweltering outside, but that little mess is just going to stay there till I can tackle it. I made my bed. I picked up some clothes, put them away. I There was balloons all over. The kids got into balloons, blowing them up, said we're having a party. So we had a party. <laughs> got the bed made. 
Oh, I dusted in the living room because that's today's dust day. So I did what I could. Just about 10 minutes worth of dusting and that's good enough. Got this room put back together. There's some of the balloons. And got recycling out. And is that all I did? Like, well, that was enough. I tell you, I'm, I'm sure glad that uh, these beds are in the middle of the room the way they are because that made making the bed so much easier and it was hard enough as it was. My joints are sore. My fingers are sore. Oh my goodness, when I bend them, oh, it hurts, it hurts. My knees going up and down the stairs. So I'm just going to have to take it gentle with myself and uh, I'm pretty much, it's 11.24 and I'm, I need a rest. I'm going to have to go out and water my garden later but because uh, it didn't get done yesterday. And it's been so muggy that I'm sure that my potted plants need some water. But this is not what I planned on doing with these two days. I planned on getting back out to that garage, giving it the old gung-ho. But I got no gung-ho in me today. And I need to get better. And I am getting better. I am not. don't feel as near as poorly as I did yesterday. So, anyways, uh, I know this is kind of a silly little video, but... I think you can just count on that. They're going to be silly little videos. Um, it's just me kind of keeping track of me. And uh, I'm okay with that. i got to go through my grocery list. Half that stuff was crossed off. So my daughter had told the kids about Tippy that, you know, we had that I had a new cat. And then uh, <laughs> the sad story about Tippy going back and everything. I still miss her. I miss Rascal. I keep thinking I hear him. It's a terrible thing. I keep thinking I feel him jumping up in the bed and then I realize it's not him. I don't know what it is. Just me, you know, banging my leg or something like that. But anyways, I am whipped from one hour's worth of work. But here's the thing. I did one hour's worth of work, even though I was feeling poorly. I'm going to give myself some grace and that's enough for now. I need to get feeling better. And then uh, we'll get back at some real projects. But that's it for me today. Just a short little video. 11.25. I guess it's Wednesday. So hopefully tomorrow I'm going to feel so much better. But anyways, have a nice day. Take care. God bless.